It's beer at o'clock on Reload Craft Beer. Today we're going to beer from Y Valley Brewery and it's a bottle of their Golden Ale coming in at 4.2% ABV. There's a look at the bottle label. There's a look at the black bottle cap. Let's get this beer out into a glass and see what we get. Nice bit of smoke on the bottle opening. Beer in the glass then. Not a bad looking golden ale. Three finger, slightly off white head, good levels of carbonation, white, white, golden coloured looking beer. It could very well be either unfiltered or bottle conditioned. You can just see, I don't know what your eyesight's like, but you can just see little bits and pieces floating around in the bottom of that glass. I find that promising. I find that, I find that music to my ears or candy to my eyeballs, if you like. It's good to see that these brewers, you know, they. It's a nice sized brewery, White Valley Brewery. Now, they sell a lot of beer. Uh, I know that from my rapping days in South Wales. You'd see their beers everywhere, everywhere you went, you'd see Y Valley beers. And they were so tough to get off the bar. You'd go in and try and sell your beer. And, and they were, the landlords were generally very, very happy with Y Valley. It was such a tough job to get their beer off the bar. I think I only managed it a few times. And then within the month going back, they were, you know, you'd go back and you'd find out why they haven't bought any more. And you'd see Y Valley were back on the bar, you know, so... It's proof to the pudding that they produce some really good beer. Let's get the aroma. It's nice and hoppy. Nice fruity kind of flavour coming through on this. Bit of grapefruit. Bit of lemon. A little bit of biscuity malt. It smells pretty good. Did I give you the ABV? 4.2%. Let's dive in. Cheers. Yeah, that's lovely. Lovely. Easy drinking. Good level of carbonation. Pushes the beer on the inside of the mouth. Biscuity, malty, bready flavours coming through. That's your left hand side of the balance, that's your sweetness. And then on the back end there's a nice, just to balance things out nicely, there's a nice fruity hop finish, which is slightly peppery, slightly bitter. Uh, it's grapefruit flavoured, there's a little bit of pine needle, pardon me, a little bit of lemon. But the point of this beer and the point of all golden ales really are that they're lovely and sessionable. You can, you can pop away, if you want to, you can pop away four or five of these on a Sunday afternoon with the newspaper or your tablet these days. Uh, and or, or likewise, if you've just finished work, you've got the car, your destination pub that you go to is unfortunately you'd have to drive to it to get a good cascale these days. That's where we are in 2017. Uh, I have to drive to a, if I want a decent hand pulled beer, cask beer, I have to drive to it. Uh, so if I was driving home from work, 4.2% ABV, this is ideal to have one pint of on the way home. Enjoy it. And it refreshes you. It, it, it gives you that purpose, that drive to, to, to get through the day because you know you're going to have a good pint at the end of it. It's, it's the balance of the beer that's very good. It's the biscuit malt, it's the hops on the back end, it's all finely tuned, it's all well thought of. I like that. In fact, 
for me in the bottle, this so far, apart from their wonderful mocha porter, or, no sorry, was it a mocha stout or a mocha porter? Why Valley? It was either mocha stout or mocha porter. It was a very good beer anyway. This runs it very close. Uh, this is fantastic in the bottle. Let's rate it. I like this beer enough to give it a very, very solid for the gold nail, 8 out of 10. It's an 8 out of 10 from Reno Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom! And cheers.